All right, last video of the day. Whew, it's hot as the fuck, baby. Look at all this taco meat. All right, guys, look, um, it's your boy TOJ. You know how they say, man, everybody got an opinion. Opinions are like assholes. I'm just your friendly neighborhood asshole with an opinion, and I'm going to give you my final opinion of the day. And it's about this guy named Joe Bunn. It's Joe B-U-N-N. -N. Uh, Joe Bunn is a man who spent 17 years in jail for being wrongfully convicted of a murder he didn't commit. And it's one of many exonerations from a crooked detective in New York, I think, named Louis Scarcella. And it's uh, Scarcella, like Scar, C-E-L-L-A. Louis Garcella is a prosecutor who, I don't know how they figured this guy was crooked. I didn't go deeper into the story. It was one of those Gmail links. I get like um, these little pop-up stories that'll say, you know, promotions, Gmail this, and it'll say man exonerated for spending. I said, okay, well, let me check the story out. And I looked at it, and the man was convicted at the age of 14 years old, which means that he probably got arrested at 13 Spent the entire year in jail until it, until it went to trial and he got convicted because of some fucked up evidence. Let me tell you something. For the most part, uh, I'm the father of a son that is 16 years old right now. And this boy will not listen. For the most part, my kids at teenage, at, you know, teenage age think they fucking know everything. And I'm sitting there telling this boy... They got racist police officers out there who will literally put your ass in jail and just lose you in the system and pretend you don't even exist. And they'll go home, fuck their wife, take their kids to Disney on ice and just love their children, cry, you know, when their kids get bullied at school and all this other shit and act like they've never done anything wrong in their life. A case happened down here in New Orleans where... This guy was about to die, a prosecutor, a former prosecutor. Waited till he got like 70-something years old. And a man who he uh planted drugs. I think he, he hid some evidence that would have exonerated this guy. He hid it in the discovery process. Now, that's the thing you black people piss me off about. When the judge, I mean, when a lawyer in a criminal defense case has some evidence on your child... You need to really examine that discovery evidence with your lawyer, with your child's or your son's lawyer. That's why I don't go to church. I don't spend my time praying and worshiping Jesus and waiting on, hoping that God's going to open some prison doors for me. I don't give a fuck. If your church ain't really about some kind of empowerment or some real educational um, enlightenment as it relates to the law, get your ass out of church, bro. Right now, we are like... I can't say we're under siege or whatever, but I mean, it's so I'm, it's so many stories. I done been in jail buku times. And when you're in jail with other criminals, you have a tendency to talk openly and honestly with the other inmates, which is how certain inmates get caught from snitches who snitch to uh, police and say there's an insider you know, a confidential informant in jail who heard this guy confess to something. And there's so many guys in jail who told me, man, I didn't do a motherfucking thing. I knew this cop set me up because I was doing this and I was doing that. The prosecutors are trying to build a record of success. They don't give a fuck about your children. They don't give a fuck about your tears. They don't give a fuck about your praying, your marching, your protesting, your voting. None of that shit. So I don't know what the fuck this boy parents was doing when they did the discovery part of this man case doing this Scarcella bullshit. But Joe Dunn, I didn't see his press release, but I pray to God this nigga didn't get out of jail and say, I forgive. You know, I'm I'm just grateful for Project Lazarus. I don't I don't think Project Lazarus even had anything to do because I think Project Project Lazarus exonerates death row inmates. But I don't know who got this dude out of jail, but I'm telling you what I know, bro. I don't I, the, the dude in New Orleans who was wrongfully prosecuted, what I like about him was that he and the prosecutor was both old, was both old men when he got out of jail, and they didn't get this dude no money. They had some kind of way in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, came up with, came up with like this really retarded like insurance policy way of not paying you money. 
And that's where the voting Democrat thing pissed me off. Louisiana is a red state. Racist Republican state. Okay. We all we have some and very few Democrats who pretend to like the poor, hardworking black folk of New Orleans and all that other good shit. But they don't fight for legislation that can change things. Real legislation. Republicans, I know the motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. So I don't really think or expect nothing from them. But when you are a Democratic legislator, Democratic um, lawmaker, when you are in a position to put forth a bill to drug test all officer-involved shootings, to get rid of mandatory minimums, then you are an ally of black, uh, black society. Because, you know, obviously there's more black men that's convicted and charged with certain crimes. Um, then you're an ally. But if you're one of those guys that say, oh, my hands are tied and... There's not going to be, you know, another um, legislative session for another six months. In that six-month window, you can sit there and do some brainstorming with your constituents who are probably more concerned with um, social issues and feel-good legislation. But um, what happened was with the guy in New Orleans, when he got out of, when he got exonerated, the man was on his deathbed and confessed that I set this man up. He literally said, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I, pl I hear all the evidence on you. But do you forgive me? That black man looked at me and said, bro, hell no. I ain't forgiving the motherfucking thing. I'm about to die in like two weeks and you got the fucking nerve to say and beg me for forgiveness because you want to clear your conscience. And the way they got the, the... What I was speaking of earlier was the way they explained it was, well, you went according to the book by the numbers, by the law, Everything was done fair and square, and the jury of your peers found you legally guilty, so we're not responsible for anything. Even though he was wrongfully convicted, they said, well, it was done according to the book, to the best of our ability, and you mm, kind of got convicted, so we don't, we don't really owe you anything. Ain't that some shit? Nigga died broke with cancer. Prosecutor died of cancer, too. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm saying it's the the irony of like them both dying of cancer was like some poetic justice bullshit. And I think the man family got like a tiny check, some kind of little bitty like 109. I think it's like they, they capped it at like 250 grand for all this man's life spent in fucking jail. He got 250 thousand dollars, and this particular dude was a fucking G. He said, I ain't forgiving a motherfucking thing. I'm glad I'm out of jail. Yes, I'm glad. I'm thankful that somebody had, you know, integrity and believed in God and believed in, you know, karma and all that other shit and got me out of here. But fuck all the forgiveness. Fuck all that. I'm just happy to be out of jail bullshit. Y'all took all that from me. Now, people like them, that's soldiers. The warrior class, that's what the warrior class looks like. Anyway, guys, um, that's my last video today. I'm going my ass in the house, getting some of this fucking AC, get me some more of this water. This is like uh, my third bottle. Where you going at? Have your ass hit for 6:30. Yes, I'm telling you what I know. And <laughs> we're gonna see Deadpool tonight. Anyway, um, get the fuck out of here, y'all. Hit like, share, subscribe, share the video with apes, alligators, coons, and possums. Anyway, follow me um on Facebook at the Opinion Junkie. Blah blah blah. Um, go to artbyrico.com, A R T B Y R I C C O.com, and um, that's about it. Go to uh, oh, yeah, also go to um, uh, the opinion junkie.com. The links to all my social media is there, anyway, guys. So, next time, take care of yourself, and I'll try to uh, fix my Patreon sometime tonight and upload some shit on that so y'all can start supporting the channel. Um, anyway, guys, take care of yourself. I'm out of here.